Imagine if Never Too Small was a book. Stop imagining. Visit nevertoosmall.com. First of all, we are captivated, we are always captivated by the Mediterranean typology because we live in the Mediterranean area. We wanted to create something new and contemporary. At the same time, we took into account the local surrounding conditions. And we are always looking for this kind of Greekness in our projects. The apartment is located at the north slope of Lycabetus Hill, very close to downtown Athens. There are very small and narrow, uh, steep streets and roads coming down from the hill, very close to the center of the city, but at the same time, uh, you are very close to the nature, pure nature. This building, which is a four-story building, was built around the 1990s. This basement apartment used to be a storage place. The apartment is also almost fully buried on the ground. One side to be underneath the ground and the other side to have the only opening towards the atrium. When we first entered the apartment, the apartment was very dark. Everything was falling down and there, it was an empty space without any partition wall inside. We did a gut renovation and we had to do floor again, uh, ceiling again. Uh, moreover, we had to add a new partition wall in order to organize the spaces into distinct areas of living. From one side, the apartment is fully buried inside the ground. So it has only one single opening towards the atrium of the block of the apartments. And it has a pair of skylights leading to have natural and ambient light from above. Upon entering the apartment, you see an arched opening, which is threshold between the entrance area and the living area. The living room is a long linear space and it's a sequence uh, of spaces, the, ki the kitchen, the dining area and the living room. So we designed the sideboard of the living room that accommodates all the things that the living room needs, like a television set, and it's placed right above the concrete slab foundation of the building, actually. We designed it to be elevated from the ground and to leave the foundation slab unfinished and unweathered. And we uh, finished the remaining area with some ceramic tiles. The kitchenette is situated on another curve of this partition wall. There are all the appliances of the kitchen, including an upper oven, the ceramic stove, a washing machine, the cabinets. It is made from plywood and there are ceramic glazed tiles on the backsplash. And there is also a pull-out bench to give some extra space when somebody prepares the food. There is this uh, big uh, circular opening allows the natural light to flood into the bedroom. And this opening is very important because it works both as a desk between the living room and the bedroom, but at the same time it works as a vanity for the bedroom. We designed also a custom piece of furniture uh, in the bedroom that works both as a closet and as a mirror vanity. And this furniture uh, is from all the way from one side to the other, but it's, it's elevated again from the ground. We designed that space in such a way that although it's small, it looks bigger. The only interior door in the apartment is the one that leads to the bathroom. The shower uh, niche is designed inside this partition wall 
and we designed it to be finished with deep blue glaze tile. The bathroom was designed uh, using ceramic tiles everywhere, meaning the walls and the flooring. So we did that to make the room look bigger. We designed the storage cabinet made by plywood and the big mirror so that the space looks bigger. And we also designed a storage cabinet by plywood. So our main philosophy is to design for the specific place. We say that our project are mainly site-specific projects, meaning that we take advantage and we take consideration of the local uh, materials, the local conditions, the climate conditions, but also we infuse inside into the projects the client's needs. Upgrading a, a small space in the city centre is very important for the regrowth of the city urban life. You give the opportunity to young people to come and rehabit the centre, thus rejuvenating the neighbourhoods. These people are well connected with their social context, so they are eager to interact with the city, and this is very important for the city. Introducing our book, Never Too Small Reimagining Small Space Living. From Melbourne to Madrid, Athens to Amsterdam and Singapore to Sydney, we revisit some of our favourite designs while also sharing new homes and spaces not yet featured on our channel. Architectural images, detailed floor plans and an extensive directory make this a rich resource for anyone looking to build, redesign or reimagine their own small space. You'll discover ideas for reducing your footprint and living more sustainably without compromising on comfort or style. This is our celebration, our love letter, to the visionaries and artists of small footprint design. Never Too Small Reimagining Small Space Living is available to order now at nevertoosmall.com and would not be possible without our audience. We are forever grateful to everyone who has watched our videos and dedicate this book to you. Thanks for watching. To receive updates on our latest episodes, please subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com slash submissions.